focus in on Jordan Lake. It's risen about a foot since the new rain that we have seen today. Sean Gallagher took the WREL storm tracker there. And how's it looking behind you? Ow. Yeah, Kat, right here behind me, the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers is actually releasing water because of how high Jordan Lake is. It's about 13-ish feet above where it should be. And right here behind me, you can see the result of that. They are pumping out 75,000 gallons of water per second down the Hall River here. All of this is exactly how it's designed, though. We were told last week that Jordan Lake was filling up essentially as the bathtub for the area. It takes on all of that water so that other areas downstream aren't flooded. And there is a lot of calculation that goes into this. This looks like a lot of water here right now as it goes all the way down, but they are calculating this to the T to make sure areas around Fayetteville don't actually see any impacts from this. Yes, the water will increase along the Hall River as you get further downstream, but not to a level that will put anyone in danger. And there actually are uh, some benefits to this. As we arrived here earlier, we actually saw crews with uh, a local EMS unit practicing some swift water training here. They were taking one of those boats that has, uh, it's inflated and has the engine on the back. They were trying to zip up here and see what it's like. So they're trying to utilize this to not only make sure that Jordan Lake gets back to its normal level, but also use it when they can so that if something like this were to happen in the future, they will be ready to go. At Jordan Lake, Sean Gallagher, WRAL News.